<laughs> All right. Yes, yeah, so looks like we're gonna start. There we go. Hmm. I like how the Sheik immediately went down to center stage. Yep. That's that's just really smart. That's what you have to do. Oh, good waveland on the platform too. <gasps> Perfect. There we go. Hmm. Oh. I love rising nares because it covers basically the entire platform. Yep. It's and just such a good Sheik's move. Sheik's legs are so long, like compared to like anyone else's sex kick, especially. It's funny because uh, Sheik's back air is longer than Fox's, but her down tilt is shorter than Fox's. So, and it's like the same legs and tail. So, oh, I guess the tail is longer, I guess. Yeah, but tail is a little bit longer. This game doesn't make sense. Yoshi's grab is shorter than Mark's. That's just oh, that's a, that's stock. We've all seen that gift. That's just because of Yoshi's nose. Oh, uh, is that really? Yeah. Okay. I like the Sheik's movement. I really do. Um, yeah. Perfect tech. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure if... Okay, what's really interesting is how Ark is just putting up the pressure. I'm um, not just like... Although he has the Geno stall, right? He doesn't really care. He's going to like stand on the very edge of it uh -huh. and just say, you come out of it, I will hit you. That's it. And this is going to be a stall. There you go. In my opinion, in this matchup, you really have to uh, wave, that, wave land on the platform from ledge. On the, on the stage from ledge. Yeah. Because otherwise you get punished from, from any roll. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we can get tech chase. <laughs> jab, jab is actually pretty good. Um, you yeah. jab grab is uh, is solid. Um, yeah, in this matchup, you never see it. I'm not, okay. I was about to say I'm I'm a little disappointed in the lack of back airs because back airs is okay. That's a, this is a stock. Um, if he gets grab the ledge back air. Oh, he missed oh the back air. God. It's interesting because. The thing about melee that's fascinating to me is all this, this entire situation, is just because you dro I dropped an edge guard, right? Yeah. This is all technically one giant punish. And just like that, like, you have to optimize your, your uh, edge guards. Yeah. Because if you don't, like, you're, it's, it's a stock differential. He does a great job not liking it to his head, though, just down smashing, finishing up the stock, and we're completely back to neutral. Oh, oh as I say that. Shine spike. Yeah, that was smart. The thing about Niels is it gets in the opponent's head, right? That's 17 damage just immediately. Yeah. Fully charged. Oh, this could be it. Uh, what you want to see there is you want to see a Nair coming off the ledge. Really? Yeah. Because it basically it, it, it forces them to go bottom right of the stage, and then that just, that's just an easy edge guard from there. Nice. So it seems like this Sheik gets very, very solid on, uh, on stage play. Uh, off stage, you're recovering not as much. The recovering, that's Cheek's biggest weakness, you know? Her recovery is awful. Um, it's just, it's too predictable, right? So it's kind of like Marth in the sense that you have to use mind games with it. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going to go to the ledge, J JK, I'm going to Sage. That was a forward smash? Forward smash isn't as bad as people, uh, people think. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just you wouldn't expect anything good to come out of that. As long as you I hit with the second hit. He hit with only the first hit. Yeah, open. yeah. Which is different. Um, does Fox's up B go farther diagonally than his side B? Diagonally? Leave me sideways? No, no, no. Fox just go diagonal. Do you? Well, I don't know. Like, I, I, you could draw it out with a triangle and use, like, Pythagorean Theorem and figure out, like, the side lines, But Yeah, but it's June. I'm not in school. <laughs> um, the up B does f is better recovery farther away. Side B is better because it's faster and less punishable. So if you're horizontal, you're gonna want to do a side B. If you're, if you're kind of like below the stage, you have to do an up B, obviously. Yeah. I, I, but like the thing is, I never see any Fox's side B like high. Yeah, that's because that's that's because it's a bad idea. Because because the thing is, in your free fall, and you can't really do anything about it. But if you do um, an angle, right, um, you can get directly to ledge or to uh, edge cancel. All right, so game two, immediately just salty run back. This makes sense. Oh, we s switched. Mars. I'm, I wonder if he banned FD, because I would have gone FD if I was in this matchup. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Up throw? I want to see a lot. Of, I want to see up throw chains. Let's go. Not going to happen so much, but we'll see a few of them. Not with all these platforms in the way. Ooh, good Nair. Nair is such an underrated move from uh, for Marth. It's so beautiful on Marth and Roy. Like, it covers high and to either side of you. It's just... Such a good option coverage. So. If you move to towards the stage from the ledge with um Nair, uh, with Mars Nair and hit this hit them with the second part of the uh, uh the Nair, 
it'll send them flying backwards. So you can literally get into like complete reversal of the situation. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Multiple situations, like you're coming on and first hit hits them, hits them into your back hit, and gets them off stage. Which is beautiful. Ooh, good dash dance uh, away from that grab. That was that was very solid. Okay. Um, Reading the text, it's beautiful. I actually don't even think that was read. I think that was just pure reaction, which is even more impressive, really. Yeah. Because he just stood there saying, what you going to do, bro? I'll cover anything. Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't see a, a, a shine come out there, but I'm not a fox man for a reason, so <laughs> I, I, I trust Ark more than I trust my bad fox knowledge. My poor fox knowledge. Okay. Oh, this is very solid. Okay, this is a stock. This is a stock. And that's the thing about Fox. It's so explosive. One second, dead's even. Next second, two stock lead. I think that was like a seven second stock. Yeah. And that's really, and the thing is, that, that just gets in the opponent's head. Yeah. Like, more than anything else, it's really, this is not a terrible situation as long as it gets a stock without losing too much, without hitting, getting hit too much here. Um, but in, in his head right now, he's, he's a little worried, right? Like, DJ Mirror has to be, has to be thinking. I have to see out the stock right now yeah. in order to win this. Oh! oh! Beautiful wave dash back, forward smash. Will he roll? Yes, he does. Press R for the stock. I'm glad to see that. Nothing more depressing than seeing uh, an early get up and then uh, grabbing the ledge. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This could be Marth stuff right here. Forward air, forward air. Uh, he let the dash, dash, the dash dance get in his head. Like that. Dash attack, but he still recovers from it. This could be. I'm not counting him out yet. I'm really no. not. No. But he's playing really conservatively and it's working out for him. This is, okay. One more up air and he's, he's gone. Yep. There we go. All right. Di, but not enough. That was a solid game. Good showing by DJ Mirror um, and Arc. Uh, Arc taking a 2-0. And now.